what's up guys so when i was looking to buy this thing uh i checked here on youtube and there wasn't anything on these new uh club car carry all diesels uh, but the newest i saw was 2015 i think um so we're going to do a little video on it so it's a 2015 club car carry all 1500 diesel four-wheel drive it's got a little Kubota I believe it's a 20 horse Kubota diesel uh, sitting under the seat I'll flip this thing around so I can show you guys the, the rig so like I was saying this is 2022 Club Car Carry All 1500 diesel it's got a little Kubota diesel uh, they're under the seat it is four-wheel drive tilt bed automatic this one has 60 hours on it if you can see that there um, I'm not sure I assume right here could be like a speedometer I kind of wish I had a speedometer tag or something on it um, but otherwise you've got a horn your hour meter hour meter fuel gauge just your automatic shifter right there key start and then your uh, 12 volt power supply, kind of like from cigarette lighter. Uh, it does have a glove box over there, cup holder on either side. Kind of got some dummy lights. Uh, the top one there, or this one, your parking brake, and then your other two just engine lights. Uh, so for starting this thing, it's got to be in neutral with the parking brake off. Which is kind of surprising because most things you have to have the parking brake on, but uh, in neutral, parking brake off. I'm going to show you guys starting that here in just a little bit. So the seat folds up like most any other side by side or uh, club car product, golf car product. So that right there is a little Kubota diesel, the Altmaner battery all the good stuff transmission fuel tank and here under the front kind of like a jeep just got these little connectors left up on the hood you got your radiator your coolant master cylinder for your brakes and some of the wiring Underneath the seat was also um, piece block, piece panel. It was pretty smart. You did put some tow hooks on the front. Put the headlights. It's only uh, one stage headlights. It's just either on or off. It came with the uh, plastic roof on it. Roll cage. I am going to get a windshield for it and a back glass just that way that when it's cool running around you don't have the extra cold air blowing through and if you have a windshield i suggest putting a back glass in because if you're running down the dirt road or running where it's dusty the windshield will stop the wind coming in but the dust will swirl in from the back side like i say this is a dump bed it's a manual dump got a little catch it's got two stage catch there there's your air filter back side of everything exhaust rear differential it's kind of like I did see somebody saying on these and to let the let the bed down you just lift up on the bed get out of those two slots Set it back down and latches. Tailgate. Spin these out of the way. Tailgate drops down. And fold it back up. Push it up. And that down. It has tail lights, brake lights. Uh, like somebody was saying in another video, this rear end is set up. Essentially, it's a four-link. It's got your 
bottom bars, control arms, or you want, or not control arms, trailing arms, and then your top trailing arms. And those coil spring setup or coil overs. It's got a receiver down there where you can pull the trailer with it. I really, really like this thing. I had just a club car carry all two, I think it was. And it was pretty neat. But here for the farm, this is a lot better just because we need black ground clearance and the full drive part is short. Right? Got seat belts for two. Get back around here, fire this little day back up. Alright, so to start it, for cold start, turn the key switch backwards to preheat the glow plugs and then on like normal to start it. So I've already had this running, so I don't need to do that. In neutral, parking brake is off. It does have a tilt steering wheel, and that is also a switch for your headlights. And you just got spots there where you put other switches. So anyways, neutral, parking brake off, key on. Brake off. Essentially all-wheel drive, from what I understand, it automatically kicks itself in. I kind of wish it had a shifter on it, and which it had a low range, like the loading on the trailer, where I can stick it low range, and most likely pulled up on there by itself without having to pull a ramp down. 
but otherwise I really, really, really like this one. I've only had it for about three or four days so far. Until next time, you guys have a good one.